Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th of October 2020 and I hope you are having a good time uh, although we are in difficult times and remember we've had the full moon on the first and um, we're going to the second full moon which is a blue moon so lots of different changes, uh, sudden changes will be taking place also surprises once it's something you remember the saying once in the blue moon okay Pool. Um I'm sorry I'm still I still don't have internet TV or um, telephone so I had to go and buy a prepaid uh, internet card so you might not be one of the lucky ones that will have your video today because it's really expensive um, I hope to be back online tomorrow uh, as soon as possible um, and I hope you will enjoy this reading and I also have to do the video on the energy of Scorpio and the romance readings and I'll be getting those done as soon as possible and remember um, we are going in we have uh, no it's not going to be this week it will be next week that we have Halloween and uh, I have made some uh, videos like uh, uh, in the witches series to do with Halloween so go and have a look at the uh, playlist the witches uh, the UK witches series we're talking about um, pumpkin soup and making how to make a pumpkin light for Halloween and we also talk about um, reflexology candle making uh, gemstones so there are extra videos on that as well the healing properties on the gemstones semi precious stones go and have a look and if you're new and you're to this channel welcome to this channel and please subscribe and hit the button like and hit the bell and click on all and remember to set your settings in your YouTube and your mobile device to get no notified if you don't know how to do it then have a look under the playlist under news and updates now we're going to start with the reading and your first card is the ace of wands you might be meeting an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius this is also the card of new jobs new action new projects new hobbies perhaps a hobby becoming a career logic and strategic and creativity so you might be starting something wow you are really fired up and you might be starting something new great stuff you have also got the card rebirth this rebirth is judgment this means that you will have a new beginning and this confirms the ace of wands and also a second chance at something okay so that is already a great beginning to the week you have a magnificent reading oh my gosh you have the ten of cups ultimate happiness expansion expansion of business expansion of family expansion of a home perhaps you might be moving home because you've bought a bigger home you might want to start a family this could also be um, getting uh, an other pet in to extend the family this could be a dog this could be a cat wow and you've got the nine of pentacles more money coming in so you can afford this new house there is an ending because a 10 and a 9 is an ending when there is an ending there is a new beginning also you have the 9 of cups twice so you've got 999 nine, nine. so watch out for numbers 999 nine, nine. Uh, again these are three four endings in your reading and uh, one two three four five six new beginnings out of eight cards so there's 80 percent that this is going to really happen this week your wish your ultimate happiness is coming this week whether it's in the middle of the week or whether it's at the weekend or at the end of the week because your wish will be fulfilled Wow okay so you might be getting a promotion more money 
an inheritance. This could be an inheritance as well. You might have won the lottery. You will be, have to try and open up your heart because you have the two of swords. So you might be in conflict with somebody else about something. Um, in this card it's two people. Also in the nine of pentacles you've got two people. So there could be, and it's lying next to the nine of pentacles. So there could be conflict about money with somebody. Usually the two of swords is somebody sitting with two swords crossed across their chest and blindfolded and that they have shut themselves off. Yes, you might be in conflict with somebody else about money or about something else that you are wishing for as the card for wishes lies above it but I think they will be coming around especially if you open your heart, your mind to new ideas, new possibilities, get a new perspective, make a compromise, keep the communication going. You can't do anything or make anything move forward if you keep stum. They're just looking at each other, they're not saying anything. So, come on, get back into balance, get out of your mind, get out of your comfort zone. Look at this, there could be a Sagittarius, like I said, so Sagittarius is definitely prominent. Or it could be a water sign or an earth sign, as we have lots of earth signs and uh, fire signs and water signs. More water signs than fire or earth. There could also be an air sign. Anyway, you have the two there, so you've got two, two, so that is significant as well. You've met your soulmate. There will be a union. Perhaps a second chance at a union. Perhaps somebody might be coming back and might reunite with you because the judgment card means a second chance. Something will become clear. Perhaps you s seek uh, professional advice or advice from an, uh, a mature man to help you be your arbitrator in your relationship, be it in love or p business. Um, Perhaps you, there was no balance in the fi uh, financial side and you got somebody, a bookkeeper perhaps, or a lawyer uh, to have a look at the balance of uh, or the situation in the business and to get the, the right way up to get um, clarity so that honesty can prevail and that the business will be done by the rule of the law so that you won't get into trouble with the tax office or anything else. So you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. Okay. Pooh. The King of Swords cuts straight through to the court and he, and he does know the letter of the law. He can communicate. He can sell uh, ice, cubes, ice, ice cubes to Eskimos and he can also think very sharply and clearly on his feet. He will tell you what to do and how to do it and he will get it right the first time because he does not stand for BS. He wants clarity. He wants, he's a person that knows that if you invest in something not to over, do, uh, 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 not to be too hasty about things otherwise you have to re um, repent in leisure. So all in all, you've got new beginnings, too many really, it sounds too good to be true, but the cards don't lie. Okay, you will have to take it step by step, you've definitely your wish is coming true, you're going to try to keep balance, you might need to ask um, an advisor how to keep balance, perhaps fina financially, and how to invest so you've got nine 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 so that's three nines have a look on the uh, in go on you on the internet what nine 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 means okay that becomes a 26 so uh, a 24 and that becomes a six so that will bring you back in balance you will be back in balance you also got two two also that is four that means stability and productivity then the first car of the uh, tea leaf uh, card is psychic ability trust your intuition yes but don't uh, look at it look for detail 
okay don't go by somebody's blue ice or brown ice look at the details be precise spare heartache over what you no longer have okay don't count your losses count what you have and look what is lying in front of you okay be grateful for what you have there's more to gain you're going upwards you're going from uh, you can have a restart a second chance you're going up from a nine to a ten and to an ace and to the king wow and you've got dealings with uh, or a relationship with a dark-haired woman complexion or hair okay now you've also got a green card okay the green means to me money and healing money and healing okay um, conscious breathing deep breath Archangel Michael asks you to take a slow deep breath to bring inner peace and balance breathe in calm breathe out stress that's like the meditation that I do when I do the healing and meditation uh, angelic meditation with you online the sword and shield are symbolically presented to you by Archangel Michael as powerful tools for stress relief Archangel Michael has witnessed that you have been shallow breathing as a response to the pressures of life breathing is an automatic function of the body and when you feel stressed your breathing rate and pattern changes as a part of the fight or flight response in yoga the breath is known as prana or a universal energy that can be used to find balance between body and mind Archangel Michael affirms that conscious breathing is just as important for your health as is diet and exercise throughout each day practice breathing deeply and easily most people hold tension in their shoulders neck and back relax these areas as you breathe deeply taking a deep sigh can also balance the energies of the body quickly breathe in feeling of calm breathe out feeling of stress that is how you do it so heal yourself by doing your breathing exercises at least twice a day be conscious of the way you breathe breathe in through the nose deeply and exhale through the mouth deeply blow it away blow the negative energy away in with the positive energy out with the negative energy and have a look at the meditation videos that I've put out there and do the exercises I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care my sweeties and hope to see you soon love and light and stay safe please like and share